Hi guys, myself Ajay Kumar. I am from Sivjian Ketan Engineering College, currently pursuing BTEC fine year. Uh, welcome to my project presentation. Me and my friend Kaushik is going to present this presentation now. It is based on an internship work which I am currently pursuing in Amatex platform. Amatex is one of the best platform in online. Of course, in offline, which is trending and useful for many students like us. Okay, currently my project title is on a washing machine in a part of embedded system design. Uh, Amatex is one of the good company to gain knowledge, which includes various courses, placement opportunities. It also hire trainees. There are short term courses and long term courses. Uh, the placement assistance includes various companies like Qualcomm, Microchip, HP, Tata Consultancies and Tata Technology, sorry, and Mahindra Electric, Samsung and many other top MNCs. Uh, it was been a great time to learn knowledge in this platform. I learned in a virtual mode uh, currently. And my course is embedded system design. Okay. Uh, let me share you uh, what are the things that are happened during my virtual internship. Uh, initially, there is been it was been today session of complete introduction about their platform and what are the things that we are going to learn in this platform. Uh, so up to today's we are there. Then we are joined into a topic. Initially, they started with C programming. C programming is the primary language that you have to learn for both assembly and many of the core technologies. So, in C, they have started with introduction, data types, conditional constructs, uh, statements, operators, uh, pointers, and each and every step. Later on, they continued with uh, how to present a project demo explanation and working with these microprocessors and controllers chips and uh, like LEDs and different switches that are involved in a processor or a controller. Uh, based on that, the continuous sessions are day by day, it was being done. And they have provided us like, some credentials uh, to also listen the recorded sessions even so that we can. Uh, join again and to here through that platform. It was been a great time. Okay, a part of these, okay, my course included uh, with embedded system designs. So they also provided like many resources of C, C programming and microcontroller resources in which they, they consist of some assignment slides, libraries, and template codes, and installation of various things board schematics, data sheets, instructions and many other things to learn in a better way. Of course, there are assignments to check our progress uh, to evaluate ourselves in this journey. Okay, let me start with my project presentation and here are the table of contents that which list of contents which I am going to present in this PPT right now. Uh, Basically, these are my topics, introduction to C language, embedded systems, overview of project, what is an washing machine, project requirements and project implementation. Let me show you uh, each and every step uh, very closely. Okay, let us start with uh, introduction of uh, C. In C, they have started with introduction to C and various data types there are present like int, float, double, etc. And data modifiers, qualifiers and data representation in C and conditional statements if, else, if, else and some other loops, do loop, while loop and for the operators, various operators, arrays, strings, functions and pointers and various variables user defined or predefined through the libraries. And there are storage classes and macros. Macros are like uh, used to regenerate the same code, means uh, it reduces the code size and increase the efficiency. 
mostly this is these are used in programming of assembly of microcontrollers and the preprocessors that are used uh, of course a part of these they also learned as like storage classes memory segments and preprocessors in storage classes in, includes this is based on windows actually they also said about linux ox and there are user and kernel spaced applications like auto generator static local in such a way uh, and memory segments various memory segments includes test segment stack segment and data segments heap segments etc and preprocess includes the header files various header files are quite common in c to process any code so including like declarations with c and even macro has a declaration and definition to utilize it in further uh, it is shared between the source flow uh, i mean source files like um, includes uh, hash includes primary like str.io.h math.h based on the uh, application that we actually do uh, in pointers as you know uh, there are different types even uh, little adder and big adder means the major classification also null pointers which are used to point at nothing basically pointers are used to address some variable and functions next functions functions are like which are used to perform specific service in reusable code they pass by value and pass by reference or various classifications a function calling itself is called an recursive function there are recursive functions even in functions and strings strings are basically a contiguous sequence of characters uh the implicit with columns like semicolons and columns uh you can see in detail and there are different library functions include like str string length str len and string uh compiler with str cmp str uh py str ch and various types even uh and of course uh, uh there are different keywords like even modifiers even that which you see in data types include short long signed unsigned based on the code optimization we used to use all these kind of data types as condition statements and loops i already explained you operators include like arithmetic logical reasonal assignment bitwise operators etc uh, there are even arrays like ternary arrays single array multiple array in such a way uh, to the same data types uh, so these are used like ternary arrays these are basically used for reading storing and initializing and copying uh of the codes arrays okay these are like the uh, topics that we actually learned in c uh, they taught us in day by day step okay let us see like what is the primary base uh, which we are going to learn what is like an embedded system embedded system is a basic definition that is it's a combination of both software and hardware which is intended to do a specific task so it is actually designed and manufactured to pursue a, a particular task that is a specific task which includes both software and hardware sessions and as i mentioned as an points a general purpose system is is used to perform large number of tasks an embedded system is used to perform a specific task yes it is basically designed on a specific applications uh to pursue some task like uh these are developed in various stages as applications are grown day, day by day in this dynamic field which includes both software and hardware based on many electronic gadgets and devices here are few examples you can see like micro oven and washing machine tv cameras refrigerators in these which consist of both hardware and software interface with systems are called embedded systems uh, there are various categories of embedded systems like stand alone real time networked and mobile there are different types if you see 
there are various topics in these embedded systems like architecture of various microprocessors and controllers initially to know what like hardware what kind of hardware that actually involved in this like microprocessors and microcontrollers so these are called the hardware sessions and software the monitoring of data with assembly coding uh, which is called and software we can say uh, like if you see uh, hardware designs of microcontrollers and microprocessors there are autonomy of various microcontrollers and how they are designed different types of microcontrollers are there in the market these are actually based on selection mode with uh, different criteria like for particular task for particular time the speed uh, like the memory allocation uh, the addressing modes or various modes of operations the particular application the time to market the probability of an uh, product that actually required to design uh, the pin layout the architecture the cost effectiveness and there are several criteria to select a microcontroller for our application uh, uh, i can give you an overview like uh, what kind of topics that actually a microcontroller consist of i also show you the further like microcontrollers and microprocessors in an extent until that i would tell like what are the different types of things that actually involved in a microcontrollers uh, uh the memory the memory architecture the design i will show you the architecture it's better for you to understand okay let me see like the requirements of an it is not like requirements the advantages we can say the reliability the cost effectiveness the low power consumption through which applications are being manufactured at day by day efficient usage of processing power efficient usage of memory these are like advantages we can say the challenges the current challenges are being overcome with this embedded i mean embedded systems so here are efficient inputs and outputs like io ports if you see a microcontroller or uh, sorry microprocessor there are many peripheral interaction through the port which are called io ports maybe serial or parallel communication it involves uh, the port layout like various inputs and the outputs are even combined these are challenging with various peripherals to understand the system and embedded and os and os and code optimization testing and debugging how far how effective that is molding and how it is how much time it is taking and how much length of code the length of code has the code length increase if you see the memory allocation also increases so it is one of the challenging aspect that i mentioned here uh, if you see these are the different components are present in an embedded systems if you see this layout this is like a block diagram if you see here is a microcontroller or a microprocessor which is embedded with uh various peripherals okay there are different peripherals and interfaces that are happening uh software okay memory memory there are ram and rom allocations fpg the hardware session these are and diagnostic port which also called input io ports like that uh human interface or uh, these are like human interfaces includes like different keyboard mouse etc other peripherals that we we connect to the microcontroller or microprocessor adc analog to digital converter digital to analog converters these are like to convert the real time data into the system knowledgeable using assembly programming okay these are like analog to digital and digital to analog converters uh, the in deep if you want to learn you can uh, assess these topics uh, in detail later okay and actuators sensors sensors are even connected uh, basically my application here is on washing machine right so i mentioned in such a way the block diagram it is almost equal to the original block diagram i am here an auxiliary system power and cooling it's like an fan fan operation that actually conducted here okay okay let me share you like what are the things that actually involved in microcontrollers like the memory the cpu 
uh, how they are mapped into input and output. Uh, there are different clock generators if you see timers or even present timer blocks, uh, etc. Uh, next, you can see like now, okay, in further, I'll explain. Uh, in programming, in these, there are different like instruction sets uh, are should be monitored that timer they have their own compositions of codes and uh, bit layout uh, i mean how many bits the data should be processed in such a way and timers and there are different like mixer signal processing even and the communication peripherals which includes with other external resources like uscrt usci usc spa is uh, I square C that is inter integrator circuit bus and USB CAM, like some communication protocols. We can say like communication protocols, okay. Uh, and later on, the system design of embedded include like processor technology, uh, IC technology, design technology, trade offs. Like these are different topics that actually covered in embedded systems, like incomplete flow of designing of an embedded system. Uh, to have a knowledge of all this, we have to study individually. But up to my internship and my knowledge, I am delivering more content to you. Uh, uh, now, like, uh, okay, let me show you the next slide. Okay, here is like a microcontrollers versus microprocessors. If you see these differences carefully you can easily understand what is the major difference between microcontroller and microprocessor if you see i have mentioned a block diagram if you see the microprocessor how they are uh, they are peripherals uh, the interfacing if you see all are separate here and if you see microcontroller all are interfaced in a single block if you see that is the major difference like here all the connect uh, elements that are connected i mean the peripherals connected are external these are internally connected this is the primary differentiation between microprocessor and a controller microprocessor is an heart of computer system yes it is like cpu okay uh, microcontroller is an heart of embedded systems yes controller is an heart of embedded systems it is just a processor memory and io components have to connected externally yes here they are connected externally as i said before and these are also connected external processor along with internal memory and io components since memory and io has to be connected externally the circuit becomes large if you see as they are interfaced with different means each each element is being connected the space required is more if you see the microcontroller as they are connected internally, everything present internally, so that the consumption of circuit size, the space occupied is very less. That is the point. Cannot be used in compact systems and hence inefficient. As you see, each individual have their own uh, their their own responsibilities, like their own functionality to be assessed and accessed by the time. Uh, it takes like consumption of time to an compacted system it is not efficient actually it is the point actually and in case of microcontroller it can be used for compact systems because all are uh, the layout which are interfaced into a chip single chip so it is more useful and next it is cost of entire system is increases yes as each and every element is assessed with different functionalities and different space is consumed and it utilizes more time and everything it is so cost effective is more comparatively its cost is very less due to external components the entire power and consumption is high as i already mentioned for each element it takes more time and each individual takes power to access so it consumes more power so it is not suitable with devices running on stored powers like batteries yes it uh, consumes like in case of an microcontrollers if you see the rechargeable batteries are enough because all functionalities are being controlled with a single chip design but in case of microprocessors as external peripherals are connected consumes more power and the batteries 
remains drained easily so it is not suitable and it is vice versa as i already mentioned and most of the microprocessors do not have power saving features yes they do not have power saving features if you see in case of microcontrollers it is a major advantage or a challenging aspect actually uh, there are different power saving modes like idle mode power saving modes so which use it for power reduction i mean reduce the power consumption so consumption of power is less since memory and io components are external each instruction will need external operation hence it is relatively slow yes function means each element should be trained with the different instructions so it consumes more time as all operations are embedded within a single chip it re it reduces time and it is more efficient even uh next it has very less number of resistors and operations are more yes of course for each operation for each element it takes more time for operation and it utilizes less resistors in case of microcontroller there are only different elements interfaced in a single chip so uh, resistors resistors are basically like storage elements which are used to store the data so more resistors are involved because there are different elements layout in a single chip so it consumes more memory even of course so that uh, it has, it is based on one human architecture when program and data stored in a same memory yes these are like there are different types of architectures designing in based on like data bus and address bus how far uh, means two way or one way separate data bus or same data bus in such a way two architectures are present there are one human and hardware architect hardware architecture one human it is like only single data bus uh, i mean single bus is used to deliver both program and data uh, in case of uh, microprocessors most of these are hard hardware architecture separate bus uh, without any interaction or interfacing like without any interactions or interrupts we can say without any mistakes it helps uh, next uh, it is mainly used for personal computers as already first point it is a heart of computer system cpu uh, it is mainly used in embedded applications like washing machine uh, tvs and broadcasting devices electronics mp3 players uh, microwave etc okay uh, if you see here the basic architecture block diagram is enough to understand this actually okay mm. here if you see the interfacing of adc and dac includes ssds and clcds mostly include like ascii characters to display and communication modes like 8 bit 4 bit based on our requirement and mm, in such a way we develop uh, okay yes here i mentioned few points these are based on like here in these embedded systems they actually said about pic 16f8778 microcontroller and about that uh, its uh, architecture its block diagram its working its pin layout its instruction set in the peripheral interface etc were being communicated in my internship i actually talked the general case of a microcontroller and processor in my internship i have learned about pic 16f87 level uh here which uh, we use it like a host the host which is like external to monitor uh, a system which is used to develop the target yes to reach the target here we use the desktop and this microcontroller pic 16f87 yeah, and pic sim lab it is like a compiler uh, these are tools we can say to develop systems and target target is like as the name mentioned a system which is being developed for specific application this is like final result or the output we can say that is the washing vision and a cross compiler uh, an application used to generate for a under architecture being in under architecture like what i mentioned is actually 
there are different compilers they already mentioned xsca to utilize it and mplab xd is the uh, application that we have to utilize uh, software that uh, in which we have to simulate the result so i mentioned all this here mm. uh, in overview of a project uh, let me tell you like um, what is the uh, okay wait let me see you one thing okay mm. here is like a problem statement that they actually mentioned us i'll i'll tell you what is the problem statement that is to design and development of a washing machine are complex process that require meticulous testing and validation to ensure optimal performance and reliability one crucial aspect of this process is the simulation of washing machine functionality which allows engineers to assess the efficiency of controlled algorithm sensor integration and overall system behavior in a virtual environment before physical implementation that is the a uh, problem statement that actually they mentioned uh, in this project like we actually focus on simulating washing machine using pixim lab and aiming to replicate the real world washing machine functionality in a virtual environment like these softwares which pixim lab and mplab xd and x8 compiler which we utilize uh, it is like a comprehensive understanding of washing machine components and the cycles the operations the modes and parameters the laundry status of fabric type like load size water level uh, temperature there are various things if you notice in a washing machine i'll explain you in detail okay let you focus on this washing machine is the project in implementing on pick controller which has different modes of working such as spin temperature and these are different modes which we use and as per requirement we use to close working how it we uses in how we use us and the objective is to implement the modes and functionality of washing machine using and testing it on simulating on pixel software and the code is written in embedded c yes c language is almost equal to the embedded c you can embedded it includes like both software and hardware it is a basic definition okay the main theme of my project is to design a washing machine what is meant by am washing machine actually if you see it is the more used application nowadays it's almost present in every home you know like okay i just mention what is a washing machine washing machine is an household application designed for washing laundry such as clothing towels sheets such a way so it is primary the objective is to washing of clothes okay it automates the process of washing clothes making it more convenient and efficient compared to hand washing yes washing machines typically work by filling a drum with water adding detergent and uh, agitating the clothes to loosen dirt rinsing them cleaning water and then spinning them to remove excess water before cleaning as you know uh, in this busy world now to wash the clothes washing of clothes is not an easiest thing if you see not uh, a 10 minutes task or a 20 minutes or an half an hour task to finish everything if you want to wash the clothes basically what we actually do we initially soak the clothes by soaking the dirt uh, which already dried on the cloth uh, becomes fading like uh, it it becomes easy to lose so that we soak the cloth in an detergent or in surf whatever it might be uh, we have to wait for at least half an hour for better results actually so that we uh, keep them in water so half an hour time it is consumed later on uh, you have to wash them like by taking any soap uh, we have to rub each other and rinse with some brush later on we have to like beat it to to remove the dirt we have the dirt we have to beat to some walls or some washing process which involves like rinsing of clothes finally like 
after we have to so again after washing we have to uh, take more water and clean it and various filtration process of water it consumes more water even if you see it it is like one of the biggest issue uh, daily we used to bath twice so more cloths even we utilize so it is been a bit uh, hard task in and day to perform as busy world everyone is busy so this application is developed majorly of course the laundry is more of course initially started with laundry and later on for each home now today of course it is more useful to each and every human nowadays uh, here i mentioned the working so actually if you see the physical design of a washing machine it is like an box which consists of some drum if you see like in which we have to put our cloths in such a way here i mentioned there are various types of washing machines available include a top load front load combination washer dryer units means there are some dryer separate in few washing machine application based on our requirement and the application they are designed actually uh they come in different sizes even with various features such as multiple cycle washers temperature settings and energy sinks if you see an general washing machine there are different modes like spin how much time you have to spin temperature and there are modes like low high medium temperature like this degrees like 10 degrees 15 degrees 5 degrees uh, celsius in such a way pattern and different uh, like how much time you have to soak in such a way like all these are programmed initially this is software which includes a peripheral interface of hardware called an embedded system now okay which includes a microcontroller to monitor and perform the tasks if you see and there are different modes if you see like based on each cloths nowadays they are developed for daily wear cloths for baby a special one for bed sheets like if you see daily wear we generally utilize for less time and low dirt is present in case of bed sheets and towels and some hard uh, curtains and these include lot of dirt from internal and external environment so it consumes more time to wash in such a way there are different like anti allergy like which includes temperature like heating of water level and the water level low high medium of course based on that express wash like the fast the speed woolens and sports where it is separate curtains it separates like different treatments different mode of operation uh, rinse and spin only dry only spin uh, in such a way so can uh, dry so can based on applications in such a way uh, if you see um, i mentioned different modes here like normal quick wash delicate gentle permanent press uh, and heavy duty means more dirt hand wash soak allergic and spin or rinse custom or programmed based on our requirement based on duration cycles of course um, okay uh, the project requirements initially to complete this project like knowledge in embedded c so initially internship started with learning with c language as i already mentioned what we have learned and later on uh, different softwares and how to use that software mp lab x id software xca compiler uh, to compile and pixim lab pick fa double seven like this is microcontroller which we utilize and cclt this is like layout and tackle switch matrix switch times i'll show you about each in detail you can see now here it is like pick 16 f a double seven a microcontroller board by using pixim lab you can you see this if you see here um, uh, like this is a display unit uh, like segment displays these are these are like pin layout pin architecture this is the microcontroller uh different uh interrupts and these and this is fan or cooler this is like buzzer like when task is started and task is finished buzzer is utilized to sound like some be some sound it is completed and it is started in such a way 
heat or light use it to heat the water as we have an application relays like when power up and downs like fuse you know that and these are ser serial and parallel interface buses present various resistors diodes these are rtc reset button and different ports layout here usb cable for external communication these are like matrices and these are led displays different modes like which mode of operation which connected to each ports you can see uh, and like these already mentioned in last slide these ccld and tackle switch and matrix keyboard all these you can see here okay this is like display unit like what the output is showing like it is programming in h mode etc uh, let us see like clcd it is the full form like character liquid crystal display it is character uh, type of uh, display module commonly used for presentation and information in various electronic devices and ability in 16 characters per row and four rows of character resulting display uh, it is 16 by 4 and like rows and columns four rows and 16 columns are present uh, and its tasks and what kind of task it performed is I, I mentioned here you can see in detail okay if you see uh, different modes it is this like which modes are present in such a way next tackle switch which their tackle switch is like one of widely user switch for completing electrical circuits typically which present in an applied to a device by user so here we actually click on like which uh, which ki kind of function we actually utilize in such a way uh, this application you can see more and matrix keypad and you, you can see like our phone our application even have a keyboard in such a way this is also used for switching action uh see its functionality like scanning press detection key bouncing uh, all these uh, for the applications like consumer electronic security system, industrial control panels, embedded systems, etc. Uh, a matrix keypad is an input device used to various electronic systems such as calculators, yes, of course, security systems, etc. It includes numerical and alphanumeric characters and commands like in passwords, and passwords in our keypad, in our mobiles, also we can see here. This is one and timers. There are different timers type of 0, 1, 2. Based on our application, different timers are present. Here is for the 16F8 7 timer to module. I mentioned here a comparator, oh, like pre scalar and post scalar. The interrupts interrupts are like there are different types low priority and high priority, etc. Based on the priority wise, the interrupts are being. If you see if there are different like program counters, stack pointers, uh, generators, system generators like that, there are different uh, layout of these interrupts. You can know them in detail in further sessions. Like, okay, if you see here, uh, there are various um, one, one thing like triggering, yeah, triggering. Of course, the triggering edge, triggering and level, triggering low level, high level, zero, one. That layout of a bit we can see, and the bouncing effect to the switches we can also recall. Based on resistors layout, it is uh, we can observe that. Um, and if you see, there are different modes, these are based on like timer modes or like PWM pulse. A pulse width modulation which includes uh, pulse generator mode, counter mode, period measurements, etc. The parameters include tick, quantum, scaling, resolutions, etc. In case of uh, operational modes like micro mode and etc. based on star, ash, LED resolutions. LED, you know, most LED, LED is like a two terminal device use it to glow based on the electrodes you know already through which we can detect uh, which is on the, like that led interaction and this is isr interrupt service routine there are different interrupts you can learn through an embedded systems 
based on particular microcontroller and of course a general microcontroller there are different like buffers i already mentioned all the points in my presentation you can see uh, toggling of led includes like alternative led glowing blinking etc in case of switch like includes uh, in various applications okay okay up to here here i mentioned what are the things that i actually used in these microcontrollers in and my project designs of and washing machines the final thing is the project implementation yes now we have to download all these compilers and create a code for various modes and various tasks and various functionality that it has to be performed here we go for project implementation so this is like a simulation based task okay now my friend Kaushik and me going to show you the simulations uh, up to here guys thank you for my presentation time and for this opportunity uh, let me show you the simulation video thank you Okay, thank you Ajay for your presentation. Now myself Kaushik. Now I am going to show you the simulation to you. Here you have to select microcontroller board, pick 16F 877A and then select pick genius in it to the file option and then now click on file and select load hex to load the code now later on now you continue so that the code is dumped to this big microcontroller board now you can see the display unit here are like key five to power on the washing machine so to power on the washing machine we have to press on the key five using that switch tackling method now long press you can get different options here if you see you get washing programs of daily heavy whites and delicates like based on our requirement we have to select the option now so now by using this you can select by what do you want like which mode of operation based on our pins die you can see the changing of options here so that here you can select which uh, mode of operation is required for you now uh, see if you see i will press the button six for long press then i would select one option so that here now water level for water level i have to change the command you see auto low and medium commands here so that now to select which mode i will select a key okay for long press so that max auto low medium i will select any like automatic so by long pressing on the key it enables the thing uh, now if you see to press switch 5 we can start the program here so now I will long press again so that the washing machine gets on now so here if you see different timers are here on and it takes times because if you see the operations is running the fan is moving there it is like rotation operation takes place for our water level here see the timing 46 to reducing 45 seconds to 30 minutes 29 in such a way later on uh, by changing different modes you can use for various uh, tasks now hope you understand the programming of this washing machine by selecting the, them sometimes see it takes like water level triggering uh, based on the application you can change here you also display 5 and 6 like start and stop options now by clicking on them you can start or stop the operation as the timer is being reduced at a final stage you have to press then the buzzer is enabled here at finally you can also hear the sound then it is confirmed with the program as cloths are washed you can remove now this is how the working in this way you can also progress various applications thank you for MATEX platform for this opportunity i thank you jay lakshmi for this thank you ajay
and it is our team work thank you for this opportunity my project is completed by this presentation thank you